Look at this guys, just check this out. Miles and miles of empty open spaces. Check this out. <laughs> Absolutely nothing but paradise. To live in a place like this, it's like, it's just phenomenal because it's something I never thought that I would achieve, right? I live here. I live just over there. Like, just over there from this. A boy who grew up in the western suburbs of Sydney City in Australia with, you know, no money, pretty crappy life, nothing but drugs and alcohol and all that stuff all around me, violence and crime and all of that nonsense that you don't wish anyone to, to be involved in, especially children. And a lot of people who I grew up with never escaped. They're still there today in exactly the same houses. And I'm here. Why? Why? Am I smart? No, I'm dyslexic. Did I finish even high school? No, not at all. I was expelled, right? I, was I homeless once? Yeah, absolutely. So why am I here and are they still down there? Why? I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> it's pretty simple, actually. It's just never given up. It's going through, it's having that, that intestinal fortitude to go through whatever it takes without complaint, right? The moment you start complaining and feeling sorry for yourself, oh, I tried this and tried that, it was a scam, it didn't work, that failed, this failed, no one could ever achieve this and all of that, that mindset will keep you in that house in Western Sydney. That mindset will keep you around all those drugs and all that nonsense and all that bullshit and that death and, and violence and all of that crap. That's where it's going to keep you 100%. Without a doubt, that's where you'll be with that mindset. That's where I would still be. And that's why those guys who I grew up with are still there. Not all of them, but most of them. And here I am. Look, absolute freaking paradise, right? And I deserve it, 100%. I believe that in the bottom of my heart, I deserve to be living here. Look at these beautiful sand dunes. <laughs> because, because I went through 10, 15 years of hardship, extreme hardship. I was homeless more than once. I've seen people <laughs> get destroyed physically. I've had machetes pulled on me. My ex had a gun put in her mouth. All sorts of nonsense that we went through and the adversity that we overcame to live here, to live here. We deserve it, there's no doubt about it. And so do you. See, people, this is something that society does. They try to numb everybody down by saying, be humble, be humble. No, be an animal. If you're not an animal, another animal will come along and they'll steamroll you, trust me. Because life is a competition. The way that our societies are built around the world today, you are competing against people like me who won't quit, who come from the trenches, that don't know what the word give up means. You are competing against us for those sales, you know, for that lifestyle. For There's plenty of money to go around in the world, don't get me wrong. But listen, if I get up every day and do whatever it takes, no matter how hard it is, and you get up every day, and you start doing whatever it takes, and it gets hard and you stop, who's going to win? You're only going to, it's only gonna be detrimental to yourself, right? So look, at the end of the day, guys, the secret to this, to all of this, to the success that I've got in my life, is just never giving up. <laughs> it really is. I'm not the smartest, I'm not the smartest person in the world but I'm damn consistent. And when I've set my mind to do something, I'm not quitting till that job gets done, no matter what. I don't care if it kills me, I don't. Look, right now, I'm still boxing with a broken hand because I don't know how to quit. And that's what will get you over the line, especially when things get tough, because things will get tough. That's life, guys. That is absolute life. That's what life is about. It's tough. It's overcoming hardships and growing as a person as a result for those hardships. Look, if you haven't had any hardships in your life, 
you can't be any sort of person of substance because substance only comes from overcoming adversity, right? So if you're the type of person that gives up at the first sign of adversity, you're never going to be here. And that should piss you off. That should really, really get in the pits of your stomach and twist your intestines. That's how you should feel about it. And if you don't, I tell you what, guys, you don't want to change your life enough. Because in this day and age, I grew up before the internet. In this day and age, anybody with an internet connection, which is you, because you're watching this video right now, can have this with enough intestinal fortitude, enough consistency, enough commitment, and never, ever quitting, you can have all of this, guys. <laughs> it's just, it boggles my mind. Because people think that they, they want this, but they don't want to do what it takes to get it. And that's what it is at the end of the day, guys. There's no excuses. <laughs> people will make a million and one excuses. Oh, my internet went out. Oh, my laptop is too crap. Oh, I don't have money for this or this or that. They're all excuses, absolute excuses. If I can come from the dregs of society, the dregs of society, right? If I can be homeless, nothing to my name, zero. I used to break into a church to sleep on their couch before they put an alarm in and got me kicked out. That's how homeless I was, right? If I can do that and be here today, what is your excuse? What is it? Come on, if you give me a good one and it's legit real, if it's legit real, I'll, I'll eat these words. But I'll tell you what, 99.999% of excuses out there aren't real. They aren't real. It's just a, it's a figment of your imagination. It's the way that you keep yourself oppressed. Stop doing it. All right, guys, that's all I've got to say today. I'm gonna just go and enjoy this. Like, look at this, man. Look at this, look at this. I'm gonna enjoy this, you can enjoy this too. If you want help enjoying this, to build this for yourself, right? There's a link somewhere around this video, click on it. Don't tell me, oh, I don't wanna watch a webinar then, I don't wanna do this or do that. That is part of building a business. You must understand the business model that you're going to get into, and I can't tell you that on a video. You have to watch the webinar or we won't work with you. It's that simple. All right, guys. Hope to see you all soon. You have a good one.